Hey guys, do you guys get bored of the default traffic in FSX? Do you want something more professional? Well, here you go guys. I will show you the video that will solve your problem. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have just joined us, a very warm welcome on board this British Airways flight. So once again, please press the Just to remind you about the luggage, small bags may be kept underneath the seat in front of you. Hey guys, Evex Joe Productions here, bringing you a video on how to get AI traffic on FSX to make your experience on FSX more realistic and more detailed. This is very simple. Um, I actually have um, this AI, tra AI traffic right here right now. Um, I can't really show you this one right now because um, they are um, fixing their website I think and it won't like load, their website won't load for the download. So, um, sorry about for that one, guys, but this one is actually the best, so once their website gets, um, over with, um, I'll post a new tutorial on how to get AI traffic, and, um, this one is the best out there, um, in my, um, um, personal preference, so, yes. So what you're gonna want to do, um, this is a different one. So what you're gonna have to do is go to your internet browser, of course. And now, um, the link will be in the description. Um, fullterrain.com slash freeware slash AI. So this this actually has a lot of options to um download for your FSX. It has um North American, it has Australian, and um. Yeah, it has North American and Australian, pretty much. And it also has it for Prepar 3D for all the users that um, made their move to Prepar 3D. Um, so, I have FSX, so you're going to want to, um, if you have Prepar 3D or FSX, you're just going to want to hit download, of course. But I would choose a um, base pack. Um, for every Australian and North American, I would choose base pack because, you know, why would you pick an incremental patch? I don't get it. So, yes, pick base pack and hit download. Once you do that, you're going to want to hit save file. Or if you're on Google Chrome, you're going to, yep, do the same with your installer thing. So, uh, it doesn't take that long to download. So you're gonna wanna open the zip file. Um, if you don't have Runbar, I'll put that in the description. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone has it. So, and now you're just gonna wanna run this. I'm um, already have traffic, so I'm not sure if it would. Um, I'm pretty sure it would like delete this traffic. So I'm not gonna actually hit the um, application. So what you guys are gonna do is hit the application and run through the installer or setup they might have. Maybe both. Who knows? So, yep, that would basically, um, once you got done with the setup, so, yep, it would, um, have, um, it would just install through your program files as shown here. Um, program files 86, it was shown in your, um, Microsoft directory, I'm pretty sure. Let me go to my directory. Um, it would go either here. In the director in the directory or the sim objects um whichever um so yeah or it would go in the airplane sorry but it would um sometimes go in the airplanes like um this traffic did right here like this one and they did um installed all the planes these are all the planes that it downloaded i don't know if it'll download all these planes for this um for this installer but I it's really suggested that you would install this so thanks for watching guys I hopefully you found this video helpful to make your FSX experience um more awesome so if you like or dislike you can decide that um of course if you like it uh, make sure to subscribe comment and like thank you guys